I, I tend to keep in my mind back for free for like small waves. And then I want to do like a core circle for one or two for big waves, but it's really hard to get them to come out. Mm. You know, because yeah, in the moment. I feel like my reactions are very slow for when they with a move. And then if I have to do like a command that is a core circle forward, I really cannot get it in time. I don't feel like I can. So, so I what know, I would do is weird. what I do is go into practice mode and just practice and, and record the opponent or record the computer just doing uh maybe like a couple of jams like a one two and then throwing out a big move so there's a right. there's a the jams would be kind of like as the this the indicator and then you have the big whiff so it's a lot easier for you rather than just like having the computer do random moves with random recovery so it's like hard for you to yeah you know, react to it because the whole idea of when you're practicing in practice mode for like whiff punishes is yeah. um, since you're recording something it's not necessarily the reaction it's more of seeing the situation uh and, mm. and getting used to the situation so uh let me see here i've got push to yeah, talk i might the, need to change like the thing it that you said the other time that like when the opponent does for example a house whip you just practice uh see the house we blocked and then reacting something like that yeah that that's basically the same situation uh same thing so mm -hmm. all right so i think what i was saying is you're doing something like this um so first of all uh I guess maybe not even one two just like a jab the only reason that you would do the jab is just to make it easier for you when you're learning to recognize that something is coming out right uh people are mm -hmm. not gonna give you these easy tells but there's definitely cases where you know especially at your level they're gonna do some sort of move uh and then they're gonna throw out something else in anticipation that you come in or whatever right uh they just want to hit yeah, more buttons they want to keep you know because they want to try to mm -hmm. press you and hit you thing that's actually really really important uh, that you should do when you're doing this is put on display uh, animation the, the recovery animation because yeah. once he the whole time that he's blue you can hit him um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. so that'll give you an indicator as to like when you can actually go with punish so mm -hmm. try out just a bunch of different stuff we got four and plus two you have uh quarter circle four one right yeah. now the thing with this is that with this Sorry, move in particular, with, with 1 plus 2 in particular though, uh, this is probably one of those moves that you can whiff punish on reaction. But because you're doing this in practice mode, you already know it's coming. So you're already going to anticipate yeah. it, right? So that's kind of the problem with doing it in training mode because you already know what you recorded. So unless you like set the computer to like hard mode or whatever, and you know, just you know practice against the computer, uh, doing random moves and shit, you already know what's gonna happen, unless maybe you randomize it. Uh, that could be another thing to make it even harder. So you can do something like jab, you can do something like, you know, one plus two, uh, down two, and this might be a little bit harder. So now you're like, oh, that's a jab. I'm not gonna whiff punish. I'm not gonna whiff punish. Oh, look, I used the wrong move because I was expecting mm. one plus two. So now you go, okay, hey, he's creating full crouch now. So I gotta do something else. Oh, too close, too far range. So you're just like, you know, you're sitting here and you're just going, boom, now I got the punish, right? I don't know the combo, but... Right, yeah. um, and you're sitting here and you're just practicing your different whiff punishers for the occasion. Oh, too far range. Boom, I got it there on, on the down two. I think down two is going to have more range than one plus two. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and just the whole point of this is just to get yourself used to um, whiff punishing and just... It's not, it, you know, it's going to help so where... When you're in a match and these moves do come out you know what the appropriate response is oh man maybe if he does down two i shouldn't do quarter circle forward one because it's a high and i need to mm -hmm. you know use other with punishers or whatever whatnot so i think if you practice that then these situations you're gonna get used to them and then when they come up in matches you know what to do and if anything just try it out right like let's just say mm -hmm. you're learning how to whiff punish just when you play somebody just only focus on that, you know, the majority of the time. Um, the other thing is when you're talking about different strategies is mm -hmm. uh, creating whiffs. 
So this is something that uh, I don't know if you've watched that video from Eris. Um, he was in yeah, tag two, yeah. which is I mean, all that he was doing was like generic low backdash, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so rather than, let's say, using back to or down back two's frame advantage on hit um, or the fact that maybe something is n not very negative on block, like maybe two one. I don't know what two one is on block, but um, the idea is rather than using the frame advantage to keep pressing and attacking, um, using that in a way with movement, right? So uh, if I do this, boom. So here's a situation where using Dragon of Down 2 and combined with the backdash, rather than saying, oh, hey, this is zero on block, uh, I mean, on hit, uh, I'm gonna like, you know, do something else afterwards or you know what i mean mm -hmm. is uh yeah, creating yeah. those strategies to create whiffs not only uh will you you know you can use it like offensively and defensively so what we talked about before was like the opponent just pressing buttons and whipping a move in neutral and then you capitalizing on it but then the other mm -hmm. way is is you creating the whiffs yourself like in um you know in in more of an offensive type of a way you know using down to backdash or sidestep sidewalk boom punish so mm -hmm. those things you can start to keep in the mind as well it's i don't know how I, it might be kind of difficult to do this in practice mode because um it's kind of easy to just uh you know hit him with this and then hit him with that and then you go into practice mode and you get hit by it and you go okay what can i do to interrupt this oh i can do this mm -hmm. you no know, that's not a good option right um but when you're creating whiffs and you're creating strategies for that it can be kind of difficult um yeah you kind of have to do like reverse but just yeah. to see if the strategy works yeah basically um so you know for instance down two if you notice the opponent is doing like while sitting fours a lot um you know after you're down two or whatever then practicing this and and seeing this strategy and see if it works after they get hit by it maybe the uh the back dash doesn't work or maybe it's a certain range or whatever anyways i'm kind of going mm -hmm. into in depth but you know what i mean um yeah creating those strategies is important as well uh you can utilize something like a down to uh or whatever to set it up so um yeah there's 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 those two sides it's it's one side is they whiff something and you whiff punish mm -hmm. uh, on reaction more so and then the other way is more offensively, where you're using a move to tie movement together to create an opportunity for you to whiff punish. So yeah. um, I think that way is probably going to be a little bit easier for you because you already have an understanding of frame dating. You already know, oh, hey, if I do this move, I know what to do. Now you're just like, yeah. well, instead of pressing a button to interrupt them, if they, you know, because I have frame advantage, well, now mm -hmm. instead of interrupting them with like a down forward one or something really basic, now you can start sidewalking and you can get more of a reward now because rather than just interrupting them with, you know, jabs or something, right? I mean, yeah. you know, you got Dra Dragonoff has some pretty good counter it stuff, but, um, so yeah, I know it was, it was a lot of stuff, but hopefully that helps yeah, it's out. Like the hardest part is that this kind of stuff is really hard to practice, like in practice mode. And yeah. I guess that's why it's been so hard for me to do yeah. this kind of shit. But um, yeah. <laughs> You, you know, you can do this when you play player matches or whatever. You can play ranked. Um, like, you know, focus on down two, right? When you hit them with down two, backdash and see what they do. Hmm. If they whiff something, then you're like, all right, good. I can remember that for next time. And let's see if this works. Uh, I'm going to, let's see if they do it again. I'm going to down two, backdash. Did they do anything? They did. Boom. Down forward two. Or something yeah, simple, okay. like it, it can be anything. It, it can, it doesn't have to be like a big capitalization, but as long as mm -hmm. you, you know, like a down for four or whatever, right? Or another down two, you know? As long as you're recognizing that you're creating that opportunity um, and, it, and it worked out. Um, that's, that's one aspect of it. Um, and you can keep it very, very simple. Like I said, only like with down two, right? And just yeah. use that as your learning tool and just be like, all right, down two, backdash like that's your learning tool or sidewalk right you can only sidestep one way because you're in full crouch um you know and just keep it really really simple in order to learn how that works learn how creating whiffs and opportunities work um and then yeah, outside right. of that it's just you know seeing big moves that whiff and you know figuring out which moves that you want to do to 
to uh, with punish with um, stuff that's bigger rewards such as Corsica 4-2 uh, that's more of an execution and practicing in practice mode and just uh, going over it over and over again. So um, that that you can do in practice mode for sure. You can record mm -hmm. the opponent uh, doing some moves and then with punishing them. So 